Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, we started the season with a big adventure here outside of Moria into Lothlorien. Pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff indeed. And what's been happening is that the orcs have been spilling out of Khazad Doom into the area immediately outside of Moria here. There's a camp of dwarves and elves here who are trying to contain them, and so I'm helping them with a bunch of quests in order to fulfill that task. So I've done some quests in a couple of the camps. There's another camp, orc camp that is, a little bit further down here. So I'm going to go down there and kill some orcs hopefully, and defeat an emissary. Also, let you guys get a sneak peek at some of the things that are to come a little bit later on. You can see the gold top trees of Lothorian here, so that's all going to be really cool. Alright, so I have to kill 10 wargs here, so... I don't know if these will count because I'm not technically in the camp, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go in here and start killing stuff. Really not that many wargs to be found, honestly. It's a bunch of orcs, really. Do need to find the emissary. He should be here somewhere. <laughs> Got a beast slayer need. Is that guy really running away? This is going to count as a warg. Really, that AoE did not hit the other warg. Let's go. Gotta keep my out eye outs for that emissary or else I'll miss him. Really? How did that guy aggro from all the way back there? That's silly. There he is. Five more wargs and then I can get out of here. In fact, let me actually pull up my quests here. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit further along. And then I also have the epic. I can finally continue with it, right? So I can talk to Haldir. These are both gonna be at the same place. So maybe I'll put that on the tracker just for now. Where's that gonna be? I don't see it. You guys probably see it glowing on my map, and I am just completely missing it. There it is. Right here. Okay. So I can do that before heading back to the camp. Sorry about that. It took me a while to see it. Let me go kill this warg. That one, too. There's one hiding in the shadows here. Feasting on those two corpses there. Well, I actually need one more morgue. Please put one in front of me. Come on. There we go. I don't know if this one's gonna count or if I'm a little too outside of the camp. It counts. I am happy about that. So let's go talk to Haldir. 
Haldir is a pretty famous Lord of the Rings character. He's one of the wardens of the woods of Lothorian. They did portray him in the Lord of the Rings films, not as he is in the books, but he did play a very significant role in the movies. You may remember him leading the expedition through Lothorian, and then he also showed up, showed up with a battalion of elves for the Battles of Helm's Deep before he was stabbed in the back by a Uruk Berserker. He's that guy. He's who we're gonna go talk to right now. You can see things are certainly start starting to look a little elvish around here. Some statues of elves, some beautiful golden woods with leaves and waterfalls. The Galadrim are here. Sentinel, let's go up here. And I always like this about Lothlorien, these big Malorn trees. That you can just look down upon. Really cool. So we got a couple of elves here with some quests, and then we have our friend Haldir. Lots of quests, man. Wow. So I certainly am not going to be doing book seven or book nine yet. I am going to finish book six first. I want to keep things in order, so I'm not going to pick up those. Why should we aid the dwarves? It was folly for them to return to Moria. A singular request. You are bold, stranger, to seek an audience with the Lady Galadriel. I, Haldir of Lorien, cannot permit you to enter this land. It is no small matter to enter Lothlorien. The orcs of Moria are awake. Once they were content to burrow in the deep roots of Fenudol the Grey, Celebdil the White, and Karadros the Cruel. Now they pour from the doors of the Black Pit to threaten these woods. You say you have fought orcs and goblins of Moria. If you are truly their foe, then show me. How many have you slain in the dark tunnels of Moria? Will I be satisfied that you are a friend as you say, and not a spy in the league with forces that wish ill upon us? I will judge your tally, but I promise you nothing. So this is actually a very interesting quest, because it's asking you to complete the goblin and orc slayer deeds in Moria, which is very... Well, I guess it's not challenging. If you go through Moria, you should have no trouble completing those. I, of course, have already done that in the in the finale episodes of Moria, of course. The Lady Galadriel must be told of the evils the dwarves have disturbed within Moria. The record of your victory affirms your claim, Kippen. I am sorry I doubted you, but these are dangerous times. We may have had strange visitors at Boundaries of Lothorian before you. If you are trustworthy, we have need of your aid. I have sent word to Lady Galadriel, Kippen. She will weigh your need and determine what role the elves will play in these new deeds in Moria. In the meantime, I would appreciate your help in patrolling the boundaries of the wood. Speak to my brothers, Rumil and Orofin, and offer them your aid. They speak little of the common tongue, but hatred of the orcs will be understood by all enemies of the one enemy. You will find them on the far shores of Nimrodel to the north. If you walk along the northern banks of the river, you will find my brothers. All right. So let's do this quest. We do not allow outsiders into the Golden Wood. Welcome to Lothorian, Morden. We have had many strange visitors of late. You shall find refuge here, if refuge you seek. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance, for even in this remote place, we have heard rumor of your valor. Then I will pick up this quest. We do not allow outsiders into the Golden Wood. We do not often welcome strangers within our borders, Kippen, but here we shall make an exception for you. Lady Galadriel is aware that you have recently come from Moria, where you have done much to help secure the dwarves' footing there. She bade me not to hinder your crossing of the Nimrodil. You are welcome to take refuge in our Talon and share of our provisions, for I must speak with you at length on a serious matter. You may have noticed that orcs are pressing ever closer and closer to Lothorian, fairest of elven homes and that there are plots and stirrings within Moria to set all the free peoples in this area ill at ease. It is therefore crucial that the dwarves hold fast in their nearly reclaimed home. Their coming was unforeseen, an unforeseen blessing at a time most fortuitous. Our enemies' eyes are divided with stout warriors and builders shaking the walls of their dark haven. 
but the dwarves are not secure. They need our help. In the chamber of the crossroads, you will find an important dwarf who goes by the name of Rolfer. He oversees much of what the expedition endeavors to accomplish. He did not wish to speak to our messenger, but you have a reputation as a hero among the Iron Garrison. He will listen to you. Hasten to him if you will, and bring him this note. If you want to help the dwarves as a token of goodwill from your ladrum. So, I want to say that this quest is actually going to open up a few instances that they want me to go back and do in Moria, like the water wheels and the hall of mirrors, which I've already done in the Moria season, but this is going to give me more quests to do there. Those instances were added after Moria subsequently on an update to the game, so I'm not going to do these right away, but I'll definitely go back to them at some point. Probably more towards the end of this season. Tarry a moment and speak with me. I have never seen the orcs like this, Kippen. They pour in from the gates of Moria as they have not done in years, and establish camps and outposts all along the roads between here and there. If you would be a friend of Lorien, you must help us discourage the orcs from this endeavor. Seek out these enemies to the northwest and defeat them wherever you may find them in Nandhurion. The more orcs you slay, the safer the road will be between Lothlorien and Moria. Their boldness worries me greatly. The Orcs of Moria seem to be limitless in supply, Kippen, but the weaponry they wield is... seem to be much less available. Every sword and axe we take from the Orcs, we render them defenseless, if only for a short time. The Orcs have established camps to the northwest along the road that runs through Nanhurion, Uruk Gashan, Drew Garmad, and Athmanhul. Journey to these camps and steal any of the weapons you find within. I will not forget any of the deeds against the Orcs that have invaded Nanhurion. So perilously close to Lothlorien. Alright, so I have to return to the camps where I was just doing quests. And let me just make sure he has no other quests for me. I think we're good for now. Alright, back here at ground level. And I guess let me follow the banks here. Oh, you know what? This right here. Hold on. Let me come back up. If you remember in Darnarbugud, the raid, I did collect this corrupted hilt from one of the bosses. And I was saving this quest. F Wait a minute. Why can't I use this? Wait a minute. It's kind of stressing me out a little. Why can't I use that? Let me see... Hmm... This is very... weird. Sorry, give me just one second, I wanna make sure- There we go, this. I think I already have the quest, maybe? The Bewildering Inscription, that's the name of the quest, so there we go, I already have it. And it's actually to bring it to Celeborn, for some reason I thought it was to bring it to Haldir, that's why I came back up here. Alright, sorry about that little mix-up there. Let's go ahead, though. And then this quest is one that I'll do later. I'll keep the letter, that way I can read it when we get back to it. But again, that's gonna open up a chain for me to redo some of the instances in Moria. And I really want to save that towards the end of the season. Because we just got out here. We don't want to go back into Moria right away. So excited to finally come out. Here's one of Haldir's brother, I believe. Rumil bows his head to you and points in the distance, away from the eaves of Lorien. He then shrugs and puts a hand over his bow. He may not speak the common tongue, but his message is clear. For the moment, his post is quiet. The orc threat is gone, for the time being. Alright. Next up, there is somebody here. Right? No? Yes? Let me kill the sword and see what happens.
Need to kill 10 of them around here. It's quite a lot. Because they're pretty scattered, it looks like. Alright, let me go up here towards this area. There's going to be a stable here, which will be nice. That way I can ride back to the camp right outside of Moria and turn in all those quests. So it looks like a skirmish camp. Excellent. This is Lobor Wind. Golden Wood. So there's a few quests to do here. But before I do that, let me just work on what I have. Orphan is about to speak when something distracts him suddenly. Your key hisses. Oh good, so this will help with the quest to kill orcs here. Get at least three. Except that none of them are counting. I guess I'm not in the right area for it. A few more. Successfully defended him. Perfect. I think what I'm going to do is actually head back to the main camp outside of Moria. To turn in those quests. Thankfully, there's a swift travel. I not get the swift travel? Am I going crazy? No, I did. Just had to ride out for a while. Greetings, traveler! With their link to Mazog severed, the orcs have begun fighting amongst themselves. Soon the day will once again belong to us. You have done well, Kippen. Welcome! You have come at a most fortuitous time! The orcs in the Dimmerald Dale are in disarray. They know not whom to listen to nor whom to trust, and have even fallen amongst fighting each other. It is now the time to show them who the Dale truly belongs to. Return to the southeast to Urukashan, Drugarmad, and Athmanhul. Find a suitable place in each and plant one of these dwarf banners. Let them know that the Dale will always belong to Khazad Doom, and Khazad Doom will always belong to Durin's folk. When you have accomplished this, return to me. If you succeed at this, you will have currently earned a reward. Certainly earned a reward. Well met. The orc sappers have been stopped and the stone is safe for now. This lightens my heart, but there is more to do. We have not yet ensured Durin's stone will remain for generations yet to come. Come and stay a moment. You, the, you stopped the orc sappers, Kippen, but I fear you were too late. It is not your fault. I should have gone myself as soon as I saw them. Although Durin's stone has been saved, severe damage has been done. While they were preparing to destroy the stone, they chipped off many pieces. It has been defaced and made the full of. There is, there is but one course of action for us to take. We must reclaim what is left. Head south again, back to Urkashan, and search for the broken off bits and pieces of Durin stone. Gather up what you find and bring the pieces back here. At the very least, we can salvage those and perhaps one day make the stone whole again. This is unthinkable. I saw the smoke from here. That should set them back at least for a few days, and hopefully they will venture into the outskirts of Lothorian to the fell trees. Elves there will quickly dispatch of them. Is a moment of your time too much to ask? The orcs no longer have materials to build more siege weapons, which is a strong blow against their continuing ability to wage war. However, we have yet to reduce their existing ability. Our next strike needs to focus on making sure that the weapons they have are useless. Return to the southeast, back to Drew Garmad, 
and defeat Moria Siege Masters. Without them, the siege weapons are nothing but piles of wood. What is the meaning of this? So you have reduced their number, but they have begun making the machines of war. This will require an immediate strike. It will be better for us to catch them unaware than to face the grim alternative. Is a moment of your time too much to ask? The siege weaponry you saw in Drew Garmod disturbs me greatly. I do not believe that the orcs could effectively use it in Khazad Doom, but with it, they could dominate the Dimworld Dale and possibly threaten the outskirts of Lothorian, although there seems to be some power within the wood which defies them. Venture back to Drew Garmod southeast of here and destroy the Moria siege engines and Moria catapults. It is vital to our ability to hold Dimworld Dale as a strategic location. Well met! The wargs have been silenced, but there is much yet to do. The orcs yet remain, and they are a dangerous foe. Come and stay a moment. The wargs have severely reduced, and that is good, but I have no doubt their numbers will soon be restored. Their weakened state right now, however, gives us an opportunity to strike at their heart. There are many goblins at Athar Mordul who now lack wargs to ride. If you were to attack them, they would not have their mounts to aid them, and they should fail easily in combat. Return to Athmud Hul to the southeast and defeat the warg riders. Alright, so lots of quests there. Let's get started with it. Trying to think. Now this is right. Need to plant some banners, grab some pieces of stone. Place the dwarf banner now. Nice. Alright, it's a few more weapons here. That's for that quest for the elf. A little bit further in. think there's anything else down here doesn't look like it the other weapons are probably at the other camps and let's see headed south have to kill some of these siege masters and then probably a few more orcs for the quest for one of the elves let's see if I can just round up a few of these grab that guy not line of sight Alright, whatever. Alright, perfect. Kill this dude. Great. 
round up these two fools here. Weaponry. Kill this dude. Go over here. Let me grab that guy. Perfect. Find more siege craft equipment. There we go. Did I walk right by that or is that a respawn? I feel like that's a respawn. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. Grab that guy. Need two more of these little dudes. Let me grab that one right there. Excellent. I should be done in this camp. Let me kind of change up a few things here. That's fine, and then Emerald Dale. I'm gonna put this here. Need to defeat some riders. And I gotta plant one more banner. And then let me put my epic on the tracker as well. Where am I going? I'm lost. I'm always lost. Let's go this way. That is. Might be related to a quest, I don't know. It's a weird little thing. So I gotta plant a banner and defeat some war riders. I really don't remember seeing too many warg riders here. I think I maybe ran into one. May as well farm this, just because it's right there. Let me get on my elk, make things faster. Here's a rider. Is he gonna count? Yeah, let's try it. That did not count. Unfortunate. There. 
speed. There's really not that many of them here. I hope I don't have to run around waiting for respawns. There were really only those three. Defiler, Emissary... There's one. Get my game, it's all screwed up here. Skirmisher. Come on, need more riders. Here's one. One more, just one more. Anyone? Here we go, final victim. Excellent. All right. So I think I'm ready to go back and turn in all these quests. So what we'll do is I'll actually end the episode here. And then in the next one, I'll meet you back at the camp. And we'll go from there. We'll continue having our adventures here outside of Moria. So thanks for watching and see you next time.